Hello, good morning, good morning, um, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you watch this. Um, welcome into another daily. I'm loving these. I hope you guys are enjoying these dailies. Um, it's for all signs. Um, anything that needs to come through for you, okay, no matter if you watch it today, tomorrow, a month from now, a year from now, you know, time is an illusion, energy is fluid. Um, this could be about love, romance, career, finances, spirituality, spiritual growth, personal development, healing. Um, we'll just flow with spirit and see what messages need to come out for you, okay? Um, I woke up today and I want to talk about this because I feel like it'll resonate um, since I'm just so transparent with what I'm going through. I woke up today and I felt really good and... I looked in the mirror and I was just like, wow, I haven't felt this good in a really long time. I haven't felt really good, like really, really good, feeling good in a really long time. And something came across, like this energy came across within me, came actually, came up from within me. And I had this feeling that, uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't feel this good. Is it wrong to feel this good? And that's that inner voice inside of me that says, don't feel good. Stay low. You don't deserve to be happy or you don't deserve to feel good. That's that inner voice inside of me that likes to come up <laughs> from time to time that I am purging and releasing and transmuting. Um, and I talked about this in my life and I want to share that it is not wrong to feel good. It is not wrong to feel happy. It's not wrong to feel joy. I know that for a lot of us, you know, we've gone through trauma, we've been through a lot of things that um, we are accustomed to feeling bad or just unwell or um, down or low. Um, we're accustomed to that energy and we're not used to feeling joy or happiness or feeling so up, you know what I mean? And I want to say that it's not wrong to feel good, okay? Um, so that's just something that I'm actually telling myself. And so I figured, okay, maybe maybe this is something that, you know, the collective needs to hear too. So what I'm going to do, um, we're going to go to the fairies because now they're back. <laughs> they're back again. Um, so let's get a few cards out for the fairies or from the fairies. And let's see what we have today. Okay, let's see what we have today. I love you guys. I hope you're having a good day. All right. So there's a, there's a really big energy about honesty. What are you honest about? Being honest with yourself. Being honest about your journey. Be honest about your transformation. Be honest about your transfiguration. We talked about transfiguration, okay? See, this is something about transfiguration. If you look up the meaning, uh, the green man came out and was talking about the, the transfiguration card in the live that I did, 1331. And I timestamped where he came out so you don't have to hear me babble about my journey if you don't want to. Um, and he specific was so specific on the word transfiguration because I am so used to saying transformation. And he would correct me and say, no, it's transfiguration. Because transfiguration means something that is more elevated, something that is more beautiful. And this is why I'm, I'm talking about, I feel so, like, I feel so good today. Excuse me. <laughs> my braces I feel so good today and it's okay to feel good this is what I need to be honest with myself about be honest with how you feel 
be honest because there is something inside of you there is something around you you're transfiguring you're becoming more elevated you're becoming more beautiful and your environment is changing to match that vibration that is within you that is growing to be more more beautiful and more elevated undressing of a salad undressing this is talking to me about vulnerability openness um this is showing this is about honesty of yourself honest about all sides of you transparency there's something very transparent about spirit right now something about very something being very very transparent transparent with spirit spirit is very transparent and here you have guardian of the gate guardian of the gate This is a cosmic gate. There's something that is newly being accessed. The, they keep saying to me, it's more beautiful, it's more elevated, it's more beautiful, it's more elevated. They keep repeating that to me. You have here Ta'om, the poet. There's something very somber, something very sad about this energy it's very um this person is embracing themselves this also feels like very stone very cold it's an energy about you that is living again it's an energy of you it's an aspect of yourself that is being lived again it's living again Oh, don't make me emotional now. <laughs> it's an energy inside of you that is living again. Okay. Be honest with how you feel. This is very important today or tomorrow, whenever you see this. However, time is an illusion. Be very honest with how you feel is the message. Be really honest with how you feel. Because in that honesty is honesty is the movement they're saying honesty is the movement to more honesty is the movement to more elevation honesty is the movement to more beautiful and grander things in yourself and in your life honesty honesty is movement i just heard honesty is the gate he's the guardian of the gate. Honesty is the gate. That's interesting. Let me get into the tarot. They want to use... Yeah, let's go to Tarot of Dreams. I was feeling that when I woke up. <laughs> There's a lot of things that are being... And it's interesting because this morning I felt truth. Like the message has to be something about truth. And here you have honesty. This is a this is a tough one for some of you. I don't know why I feel like it's tough some of you might be avoiding honesty some of you might be avoiding some truth about your journey about yourself i hmm. that's what it feels like some of you are avoiding honesty Yeah, look at this. Look at the gate. Four of Wands. The gate. Honesty is the gate. See, there's more. Something is more beautiful. 
something is more elevated there's something here that is more for you but you need to be really honest about who you are you need to be really honest about your journey if your journey is not rainbows and butterflies say my journey is not rainbows and butterflies my journey is dark my journey is heavy my journey has been sad my journey has been traumatic say it Someone isn't saying it to themselves. Someone is saying, oh, it's not that bad. When really it needs to be looked at. Look at these eyes. Look at this feeling. It's like what I was saying in my life, like romanticizing healing, romanticizing this journey, romanticizing um you know tarot cards and spirituality romanticizing it when it shouldn't be romanticized this is energy and energy is real and we are real and what we go through is real and what we go through it's not fairy tales what we go through is real shit is real life and we are finding a way to explain it all and i feel like some of you are finding a way to explain it and it, it can't be explained by anyone or anything outside of you. This is about you coming face to face with your truth and your honesty because honesty is the gate. That's the gateway here. You need to undress yourself. You need to undress it all. Underneath it all. Mm. Remember that song? Mm. Mm. Underneath it all. You have to get underneath. You have to get underneath. I'm getting really emotional. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love the, um, look at the card, look at the colors here, how beautiful that is. Oh, welcome, hanged man. <laughs> You know what's interesting though? The hanged man came up in the reverse. <gasps> hanged man is coming down. You hear the nine of cups? Let me get the cards out and then I'll flow through all of the messages. Yeah, because there is a love message here. You do have here the two of cups. You have here the moon. judgment page of coins I just heard something new is materializing through the gate of honesty something is materializing through the gate of honesty okay um, you do have here three of swords at the bottom there's another gate you have here the ten of cups and strength okay all right let's let's flow through these messages okay be honest about your journey all right that's the spiritual um growth and personal development message all right something new is going to materialize in your life okay something more something more beautiful judgment right let that truth let that honesty rise from within you let it go let let it go let it rise right we just had resurrection yesterday resurrection resurrection was the message and here you have judgment the trumpets of thunder right oh that's interesting they came out together we did um a reading with the hanged man it was the descent of the hanged man and the trumpets of thunder and i'm trying to recall that message and i don't remember i don't remember anything that i channel so i don't know what i talked about there <laughs> but um what's so interesting is that what I'm seeing here with the hanged man and and I remember talking about the hanged man um specifically about the seeds I remember this very specifically about the hanged man dropping the seeds from his or her pocket right and this is about moving the seeds into fertile soil moving the seeds into fertile soil um picking them up and moving 
getting some traction on the ground. Um, it has a similar me message here, but there's a key. Spirit is saying there's a key that wasn't touched on then, but is being touched on now okay and it has everything to do with honesty because honesty is the key here honesty is the gate to more okay and it's almost like this is what this hanged man has realized is honesty within him or herself the hanged man has completely undressed you can see the undressing of the hanged man right here the hanged man is naked vulnerable you can see scars you can see tattoos you can see the skin you can see what is written on the hanged man you could see the words that are written on your skin which is very very symbolic of your energy of your emotions it's almost like your heart your heart is on your sleeve here with the three of swords letting it all show letting it all show um for the descent right and as as this energy descends it feels like a lot of things are undressing so like descending in a way but as it descends something new ascends right and it's the truth of who you are it's the truth of who you are it's your transfiguration right rise something more beautiful something more elevated right what I'm noticing here with the hanged man is these two um, um, pillars and they're light, they're light pillars. It's almost like this hanged man is standing upright and he or she is dropping, dropping the seeds onto the ground, dropping the seeds onto the ground. It's like bloop, just dropping them. That's what I see here, dropping them. And look, the page of coins is underneath dropping these seeds for something new to materialize through honesty okay through honesty that's the key here so we're always going to circle back to this message so if you're annoyed with me saying it over and over again i apologize but i don't really care <laughs> i know i repeat things but that's what they're saying here honesty is a gateway to more Something is materializing through the gateway of honesty. This is a physical manifestation, okay, right? The seeds are dropping. This is a physical manifestation of your desires. So be honest with what you desire. Be honest with what you desire. Yesterday's message was about a wish, right? Okay, yesterday's message was about a wish, um make a wish think on your feet make a wish what is it that you truly desire be honest with yourself some of you you may have wished for something that you don't really want or that you don't really desire maybe for some of you you have to change your wish because you don't want something that you thought you wanted or you thought that you needed some of you, this is something that you didn't think you need. Some of you, this is your soul speaking through you. Your soul is, your soul is surging upright. Um, your soul is surging through, excuse me. It's almost like your soul is speaking. And the seed is, is planting, materializing something that you didn't think that you desired or it's something that you just didn't think that you needed. And that's coming into fruition. Okay. Now I'm going to get into um, some love messages because they're pointing me in this direction. There's someone here that is being honest about their feelings. Finally. Finally, after a long time of resisting the emotions, a long time of confusion, a long time of not understanding their desires, someone didn't know what they wanted, okay, someone doesn't like to be undressed in vulnerability, someone was quiet, the poet here, someone could be a poet writing um, creatively, Someone could write music. Someone is an artist here of some sort, a songwriter. They could sing. Um, 
but they haven't written songs in a while like they had a writer's block here with the hanged man um see I'm, i always see the hanged man differently now i can never see the hanged man the same again <laughs> but this person is honest they need to be honest with themselves first before they can be honest with you okay so what I'm seeing here is someone is getting honest with their emotions for you here with the two of cups, okay? Do I see communication? No, no. I see this person coming to the understanding that this is how they feel about you. This person is understanding their deepest desires for you. This person is understanding their deepest desires in regards to a relationship, in regards to love for themselves first, okay? Like, this is what I want in a partner. This is what I want to feel in a relationship. First, they never thought of it like that, how I want to feel in a relationship. This person is coming into the understanding of this is how I want to feel in a relationship. So they are coming into the understanding. They're coming to the realization. They're having this enlightenment moment of, oh, okay, this is what I want to feel in a relationship. These are my deepest, deepest desires of what I want to feel and what I want in someone else. And it's almost like you fit that picture. You fit that for them. This person has an epiphany about you because you align. You align here with the Two of Cups. There's alignment. There's mirroring energy. It could be mirrored souls. You mirror. You match their desires. You fulfill their desires. There's a new. There's something new materializing here. There's a new beginning. Something more elevated. Something more beautiful. But again, it's through this gate of honesty. We're always going to circle back to that message. Judgment. I feel like you guys know this person. Um, I will talk about um, new love in just a little bit if you're single. Okay, just give me a moment. This is someone that you know. Okay, here with judgment and the two of cups. Someone is um, making a decision about a relationship with you. Okay, someone is thinking about a home with you this is their desire okay look at them look at this wish look at them look at this dream look at them look at that okay they're looking at this before it materializes okay do you see that okay i don't again i don't see communication right now okay that doesn't mean communication won't happen there is a new beginning but this person currently okay currently in um you know um whether you're watching this today uh or a year from now or a month from now whatever this person is coming into how on it they're being really honest with themselves of how they feel about you okay and what they want in a relationship okay There is an offer, but this offer won't won't happen. Um, uh, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing them take action because there's no wands here. It's just all cups and emotions. There's there's the four of wands here, which is symbolic of a new beginning. Um, eleven eleven, which is stability. This person wants stability. This person is desiring stability, but I'm not seeing them like communicate just yet that does again that doesn't mean it's not going to happen i'm just not seeing it in this reading in this time frame because there's a specific like i don't know why they're saying that to me there's like a like i might do this i might do a love reading tomorrow and we get communication i'm just like this reading is just so focused on this person coming into how honest they are about what they want with you okay I'm just not seeing action just yet okay but there is an offer it's just not being like they're thinking about the offer okay they're thinking about the offer they're not taking action to the offer just yet okay all right okay 
Um, if you're single, okay, if you're single, you need to be honest about what you want, okay? You need to be really honest about what you want in a partner, okay? Be very clear with yourself first and foremost and be very clear to the universe. Some of you are not open for a relationship, but yet you want one and it's very confusing. Um, you, it's like... <sighs> It's like, how do you expect to love someone and be loved when you're not open and vulnerable? Okay, so it's like you want, you like the, you like the idea of a relationship, you like the idea of love, you like that idea of a family, you like the idea, but you're not ready to undress yourself, you're not, re you're not open to it, but you want it. So if this is something that you truly desire, if this is a deep desire of yours, you need to open yourself first. You need to be honest with yourself, okay? You need to open that door to your soul, to your emotions, to your deep desires and your needs and your wants. You have to um, get that clear, okay, first before this can manifest in your life. Okay, so basically for singles, it's up to you. It's up to you. You have to be open and vulnerable with yourself, okay? Um, I'm also hearing like intimate with yourself. Be intimate with yourself. And I'm not meaning what you think I mean, okay? You can be intimate with yourself in different ways than just that, okay? Um... Someone starting a new job, you've been, okay, so someone, I'm seeing someone applied for a new job, um, I'm seeing you get it, okay, I'm seeing that you, I don't know if this is within the same company, like you applied within the same company, um, but like you worked really hard here with strength, like you worked really, 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 really hard with strength. Um, with the strength card here and it's almost like you went under the radar I'm noticed I'm seeing here with the moon like you weren't seen your work wasn't seen but now I'm seeing someone notice you here with the page of coins someone is noticing your work okay and I'm seeing that a new partnership in this is going to um, come about something is coming into fruition um, it's something that's going to make you very happy. You're aligned to it, okay? You're aligned to it now. You weren't aligned to it before. Okay, and again, it has something. It's This is all about honesty, okay? Some of you didn't know if you wanted this, okay? Some of you are looking for a job, but you just don't know what you want to do. You don't know what you want to do for your career, or you don't know what job to apply for. So you're you're applying to like 50 jobs because you just don't care what job you're going to get. Spirit wants you to be a little bit more specific on what you want to do and what you want to accomplish. Um, it's almost like just like nail, um, uh, just to kind of like decrease, decrease like the amount of like directions because you, you're okay with like wherever, whatever. It's like, let's let's um let's decrease that and let's really focus okay um think about what you want to do okay and it'll come and it'll come to pass think about what you really want to do there's a leo in someone's life here specifically there's a leo in your family that broke your heart that broke the family up i don't know what that means um they were unsatisfied with where someone was moving to it has something to do with the move um maybe you left the family um to do something that you really wanted to do and someone didn't like that or they felt like you were leaving behind the family someone thought that it was selfish of you to do this but you weren't you were doing it for you you were actually doing it for the family to provide for the family um 
for some of you it's a Leo for some of you it doesn't have to be a Leo it could just be that story but take it as it applies but you just simply wanted to start something new for yourself but it, it was for your family too it was like to provide but they didn't see it that way they they thought that you were very selfish um so you need to be honest with this person i, I am seeing a conversation i'm seeing um you to discuss i'm seeing the family talk about this i'm seeing that there is like n there is very little honesty in a family and that's what breaks the family up is like the lack of honesty in the family it broke the family up because there was no honesty um yeah there was no honesty Some of you, honestly, you can't trust someone because their lack of honesty in a relation, this is a romantic relationship, you're going to meet someone new, okay? And again, be clear on what you want, okay? Someone isn't honest with you about how they feel. Um, they're hiding, they're hiding something. They're hiding something that they really desire. They are afraid to tell you. I'm sorry about that, if that's resonating with you. Someone, but you know, there's something about you, like you're very intuitive, you are like picking up that this person isn't being honest with you, like you feel like they desire someone or something else, or they want to do something else, but they're not telling you. Um, I'm seeing you depart, and I'm seeing you move into a new relationship, okay? The dogs are going again. Um, there's some kind of conflict because it's interesting. I'm not seeing the five of wands, but it's an, just an energy that I'm feeling here. There's some conflict that caused the three of swords for you, the heartbreak. I'm sensing it's a friend for someone. A friend wasn't honest about you. And this is all about honesty. <laughs> it's all about honesty. It's a friend. A friend was not honest. You, you, some of you went into a partnership with a friend, like um, a business adventure, and it completely fell through. It just didn't, it just didn't happen. Um, and they're picking up, they're picking up the business with uh, with someone else that you know, and this is like breaking your heart. Um, I'm seeing um, that business that they're doing with the friend instead of you. Um, I am seeing it work. I'm seeing it work. Be careful of your envy. Be, care be careful of your jealousy. Okay, because that might um, take you overboard. That might really just um, take you off of alignment. Okay, if it didn't work for you, it's because it's the redirection. Okay, so think of it from a different perspective here with the hanged man. Um, okay, I'm hearing spirit, spirit children. They've actually been coming through a lot. Um, I don't know if this came out yesterday or not. Some of you, I'm very sorry for your loss. Someone lost a child. Um, because I'm seeing here with judgment, like spirit rising. Um, and these are spirit babies rising with the two of cups above it. And I'm seeing like, um, a child, a spirit of a child, um, is going to come into birth, is going to come into new life. Okay, here, four of wands is going to come into new life, is going to pass through the spirit gate here with guardian of the gate, um, and they're going to be born in between, um, they're going to be born in this love, in this love with you and another person. I'm seeing 11, 11. Wow, I didn't, I didn't even realize that. Wow, okay. The Transfiguration card is 11, and you have here Four of Wands, which is the 11, 11 card. So you literally have here 11, 11. So what Spirit wants to close off the message is you can have a new beginning. You just need to be really honest with yourself because honesty is movement. Honesty is the gateway. 
to more beautiful things, to more elevation, okay? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this daily. I love you guys so very much. Until next time.